This tutorial will show you how to paint on a model in Photoshop CS4 Extended. I'm assuming that you already know how to open the model, light it, and move it around. If you don't, please watch those videos to learn how. You'll find them on this site. If you know all of that, then it's finally time to start painting. If you open the 3D panel as we have before and go to the Material tab, you can see any materials that happen to be associated with your model. In this case, there are three because there are three materials in the Second Life avatar. You can see them listed here. Material lower body, material upper body, and material head. If you look in the layers panel, you can also see the textures that are currently being used on the model. Don't confuse these two things, even if they have similar names. You can add different textures, we'll do so in a moment, but you cannot add materials. That has to be done in your 3D program. We'll come back to the material pane of the 3D panel in a bit. For now I'm going to close it so we can concentrate on the layers panel. Here in the layers panel we can see all the textures associated with this particular 3D layer. You can hide them or show them using this flippy triangle. When they are shown, you'll find that they are listed by mode. In this case all the textures are diffuse color. You can see the mode here at the top. So we can just grab the paintbrush tool and start to paint. When you have a 3D layer selected, any strokes that you paint will wind up on the model. But look at this! I got an error message! It's saying it can't edit the texture. What's going on? Let's click the Change Texture Target button and see. Ah, see there? The selected layer was hidden. Whenever you get a message like that, you need to open the texture and take a look. Let's unhide this layer. By the way, you won't get that if you just start to paint on the avatar. Instead, you'll be painting on the background layer. I set that up so I could show you the error. While we're here, let's close the background layer. Now we can save this texture and close the window here. Let's make sure we know what we're going to be painting on for these other two. To do that, just double-click the texture name here in the layer panel. That will open the PSB file that's associated with that texture. I think of it as Photoshop Big. You'll see when you have it open that it behaves in all ways just exactly like a normal layered Photoshop document. So you can resize it if you want, just the way you normally would. If you want to resize the texture to 1024 by 1024 while you're working on it, for instance, you would just do that here. You can click on the New Layer icon, as we usually do, to make a new layer to paint on. You can hide a layer by clicking the eyeball icon, just like you always do. Save the file, and the changes will update on the model. Repeat as needed with other materials. In this case, we'll have to open all three materials and make a new layer if we want to paint a seamless texture across the different material zones without touching the texture that's already there. We've done two of them now, so let's do the head, and then we'll have all three. New layer, hide background, and save. Once you have the layer to paint on, just choose your brush and start to paint. Let's zoom in a bit and do that. If your computer is powerful enough, you'll be able to watch the paint appear on the map. If you don't see it there, it's become disassociated from the image like this one has. Just close it. You won't lose anything. Photoshop is busy painting on the map that's still actually associated with it. I'll open it up so you can see that. And there it is. And really, that's all there is to it. You can use filters, clone stamps, shapes, anything you want. As long as you have that 3D layer selected, anything you do will show up on the model. To paint on a different layer in a texture, open it, and select the layer you want. Then save and close. Or just leave it open in Paint if your computer will do that. As you work, you'll find that you can only paint on the side of the model that's facing you. This is a good thing because it keeps you from making brush strokes that you can't see or control. All of that is controlled by the paint falloff angle, which I'll cover in a video about advanced painting. For right now, just be aware that this is normal and what it's supposed to do. If you want to cover an entire area with a color or pattern, you can either turn the model a lot or open the texture. Select the area, and fill it right on the texture. 
Add a new layer for touch-up. And then use the brushes and things to touch up the seam here on the model. There is nothing that says you can't work on both the flat texture and the model. I'm going to use the lasso and select all of these dots and make them go away. Just hit the delete key, drop the selection, change the layer that I'm working on. There we go. Get the elliptical marquee tool. Make a few more dots. Just make them and fill them. Repeat as needed. To fake the side here so that it looks like it's one seamless texture that goes the whole way around.